Hey, it's Jonathan Kadish from Aquaponics NYC. Today we're outside of the Ella Baker School on 67th Street in the east side of Manhattan and they've got an aquaponics project going on. So let's go on inside and see what's going on. So I am here with Michael Paoli, sure. uh, who is a teacher here, a math teacher here at the Ella Baker School. And uh, so tell me about the Ella Baker School and what it's all about. Well, the Ella Baker School focuses on um, the student as a, an individual learner. Uh, we try and find out as much as we can about the student and then try to build the curriculum around his or her interests. Um, we always keep an eye on the common core, but uh, what matters to us more is finding out where the child is at and then pushing them to, to learn. So who was Ella Baker? Uh, she was a civil rights activist in the 50s and 60s, I believe. Um, she was a contemporary of Martin Luther King. Um, and her main philosophy, <clears throat> or uh, the one philosophy that I really think that we try to embody here at the school, that she, um, she tried to get her students and, and I don't want to say followers, but um, she worked a lot with college, college students and mm -hmm. she got them into rooms and, discuss, and had them discuss you know, civil rights, um, social activism, and that, those kind of things. And whenever they looked to her for guidance, she would always say, turn to the group, turn to each other. You should figure out as a group and not look to one person as a leader. Hmm. So what subjects do you teach here and what age groups? Right. So I teach mainly grade seven, eight mathematics, but we do a little bit of science and also advisory, which is um, a group of uh, 11 or 12 children and we talk about social emotional social emotional issues as well as um, high school prep and um, this year I've started to do some meditation in advisory as well so what got you interested in aquaponics um, well I I'm an aquaculturist by nature mm -hmm. um, and then one of the grade 3 parents there are no parents in the grade three class, but a parent of a grade three student saw all the tanks around in the classroom and in the hallway, and they asked me if I ever heard of aquaponics. And I hadn't, and this was two or three years ago. And then I started reading up on it, and I thought this would be a fascinating uh, project to explore because it has to do with food, and I think, I mean, food is essential to all of our lives, but I thought, what, what better way to get kids involved in uh, a project than something they're always, you know, something that they're so connected to. So it's, it's sort of an easy way to get, you're always trying to think what's going to get the kids hooked. Mm -hmm. So I think food it w was a good one. So anyway, so I applied for a grant through Fund for Teachers and they gave me a, a travel grant and I went and studied aquaponics in, um, on a larger scale in England and France. And uh, Captain Planet donated a bunch of money to build an aquaponic system here. So the kids and myself included are still learning about aquaponics and all the building that uh, goes on with it. So why do you think uh, this project would be a good subject for a classroom or something to cover in a school? Well, first of all, it's extremely messy and it can be frustrating but also it can be exciting because it's really exploratory and I think that's what kids need and crave um, so my, my what I this my teaching style is generally to find some great idea that I think the kids would would uh, really latch on to and then cram mathematics into it so mm -hmm. that's what I do with it we had a bike project last year where I brought in bicycles and we just did math about the bicycle. All right, hello, so this is the aquaponic system. It's um, taken months to come up with the designs. The kids have been sawing. They have been uh, installing the lights. They've been fiddling with the, with the mathematics of the aquaponic system. So essentially what's going on here is we have a 120 gallon tank over here, dangerously situated in a hallway where kindergarten through grade eight students roam. Um, that's not the extent of the danger. 
what's going to happen is the water is going to get pumped from the tank all the way up to the first grow bed up top. Here, it's a horizontal grow bed, horizontal this way. And we have two super bright LED lights over there that are going to uh, provide the lighting for the horizontal grow bed. Great. So we're going to have electricity, kindergarten grade 8 kids, metal, okay, water. Uh, the water is going to drain from the horizontal grow bed here. It's going to be split into eight different valves that are going to cause flow through these vertical towers and the plant and the vegetation is going to grow this way. And the students have built a, a sort of hanging light system that we're going to hook in here and it's going to, it's going to be a, a grid of T5 lights this way, shining that way, and eventually the water is going to flow into here. We might have some seedling, seedlings growing in here and then eventually drain back into the tank. Okay, so uh, school should be dangerous, right? School should, you know, you should never know what's going to happen. We have glass edges here, metal, electricity, water, children. This is, this, is a, this is a fantastic learning environment right here. I'll tell you that much right now. Great. Well, it's a really exciting project, and I'm happy to be a part of it. Yep. And we'll be back in a couple of months to see how it's going. Absolutely, and thanks for your help. I, I couldn't have done it without you, John. The uh, guidance and here it's Saturday. 5.30 on a Saturday. We've been here since 11 a.m. Jonathan Kadish, ladies and gentlemen, also a hand for him. Don't forget. So that was really cool going up to Yellow Baker School and meeting Michael and his aquaponic project. Uh, we'll be going up there again in the next few weeks, maybe a month, to check on the progress and see some plants growing in the system and see the fish all set up. And we'll get to talk with the kids and see what they think about the aquaponics project. So check back in a couple of weeks. And you want to make sure you subscribe so you get an update when I post that video. In the meantime, back here in my New York City apartment, I've got some really nice growth going on in my little uh, New York City apartment system. So let's check that out. So my system here in New York is doing really well. I'm in the third year of this system, and as you can see, the rainbow char is really, really vibrant, really good, um, growing really well. You can see the size of the leaves are just tremendous. I'll put my hand out here so you can see basically how large these leaves are. So it's doing really well, and down below are my two little goldfish that power this system. They're the same goldfish you see in the early parts of my video. And just to review the system, water gets pumped up here, goes up the back, gets pumped out. It's pumped out right here, goes into the grow bed, fills up, and there's a loop siphon in the back. So anyway, you can click here if you want to see how this system was built. It's a little two by two, four square foot system. So that's it for this time around. Aquaponics NYC, signing out. Mm -hmm.